Hey guys, Cyber Warrior 94 here doing another unboxing. Uh, it's a, basically a DS game I got at a roll off, roll back price at Walmart uh, today. And uh, this is my little ghost. He is my friend and he will be joining us for now on on our, all our unboxings, just to tell you. Yeah. So, as I was saying, the game I got to unbox for you guys, Legend of Zelda Spear Tracks. Now, funny thing about this game is that I already owned the game. I got it at a yard sale for two bucks, and today the game actually broke down. So, I don't know how it broke down. It just would not activate my DS. I tried my my DSi and my Nintendo DS Lite. It wouldn't have not turn on. So, I took it to GameStop, and they're like, oh, yeah, the uh, cord fried. So, I only had it for like a month, and I felt sad that it died in a month. So... I, you know, they, the GameStop offered me four bucks for it. I don't know why, but I got it for four bucks. So I went out, spent a whole 34 bucks on Spirit Tracks. Why didn't I buy used in GameStop? Because they were sold out used in GameStop. Why didn't I buy a new GameStop? Because they were also sold out. Funny. So I rebought it. Ugh, I pay. I well, I did buy a uh, basically crappy used one. So I'm glad I rebought it. I did not even complete the game. I was like at the beginning now. I forgot all about it due to some tests. So let's get to the uh, unboxing. Sh We're blocking poor Schmorty here. So let's make him face us here and unbox it. So yeah, this is a very hefty game. I do intend on importing one game. If you've seen my favorites or if you're a friend of mine on uh, Bellamare or anything like that, you would definitely know what game I'm planning on importing. I'm still deciding on whether or not I want to import it. So is my mom because we can't decide whether or not I'll be able to understand or even play the game. But I, I have full confidence myself. I might be able to do so. And why am I failing at unboxing a stupid little game? I did find out the unfortunate thing about doing a something on the iPhone, making videos for YouTube. Uh, even though YouTube has the new 15-minute time limit, uh, I suggest that Apple and YouTube make an update to their app because the app is still used to the fact that they make 10-minute videos. So I only have a 10-minute limit on the iPhone. So that sucks. Uh, so we got finally the wrapping off. No, I, I hadn't actually got the box. I only had the cartridge when I buy the yard sale. So I actually do like the box. Uh, feels like an everyday average Nintendo DS box. Um, let me see if I can get you a game cartridge. To... Pokemon, Heart Gold, and Soul Silver game cartridge. And the uh, usual Pokemon Platinum cartridge. As you can see, there is a dis distinction in coloration. I don't. I heard that. I think it was my original one was black, like the heart gold soul silver one. I don't know about now. I think it's gonna be gray. Yeah, this one's gray. I don't know. Maybe he colored over it and made it black. But to me, this was a fun. This was a fun game. Uh, here we have the advertisements for the Legend of Spear Tracks, Legend of Zelda Spear Tracks, genius. And uh, let's bring up. Teeny over here, who's standing right beside the game cartridge, which is right over here. There's the cartridge. There's the cartridge. Uh, advertisement for... Let's see what the advertisements are. I, I always do this for now, for baby. Uh, looks like Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Resistance Store. Definitely want to get this game. And uh, Phantom Hourglass. Uh, uh, not much fan of that game. Nintendo DSiWare. We got, like, Mario... Donkey Kong, we have uh, the Ancient Beckon and Brain Age Express Sudoku, and uh, more online features. Nintendo and upload photos with Nintendo on the face on camera action application to the Facebook. God, I said that wrong. Basically, on the back we have Martin Luigi and Fire Emblem. Uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking about Fire Emblem. I want to spread my variety of gaming nowadays. I'll just call up some multi tools so I won't get myself. Uh, as every other Nintendo DS game, we then get the uh, Club Nintendo stuff. Contains the code. I'm not going to show you guys my code because I'm that greedy with my codes. So I'll upload it later tonight. 
and uh, we have the uh, Nintendo DS uh, information booklet. Basically, just your warranty, your worries, and like, oh yeah, you can get seizures from a game. I literally did get a DS game stating that you can get seizures from this game. It was literally, uh, ironically, Pokemon Platinum. I don't know why they gave me that booklet, but it was kind of funny, quite frightening to towards me and my mom. Why is this saying that? I didn't sell for any. And as every game book should come with a mini book booklet. And the cool thing about Spirit Tracks is that actually is quite informative enough that it can be like a mini guidebook in your hands. So yeah, that's it. This will be useless, so this will stay outside. But everything else. We'll go behind, like I usually do, I really do reorganize the game booklet organization where the manual's in the front and the rest of the shit is in the back. So, yeah. Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. The main meat is a 22 kilobyte or megabyte, I forgot, really, game. And, honestly, comparisons with the uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver game cartridges, stupendous me, I've... Really. I mean, really. Look at these game cartridges. They don't look that different. I mean, it looks impressive. They look good. I really wish it, like, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I did hear the reason why they painted it black was because of the infrared. But honestly, uh, Zelda is paint, and even Pokemon Platinum is paint gray. Um, but the original one, I wish I had shown it to you guys before I made this video, was black. And I'm astonished as to why it was black. Thing. Maybe someone drew a sharpie over it, but if it did, then this little barcode and everything would not like the thing that's shining over in the barcode wouldn't be noticeable. So I don't know. Maybe it was fake. Maybe that's why it is fake. It was pirated. Uh, did I? Uh, did I forget? I forgot to mention one thing. Uh, the Nintendo D 3DS cartridge will be the same thing. Two gigs, but it'll have a little notch about the size of my fingernail, like that big. And it'll prevent you from putting your DS. That is the difference. I do like the fact that you see the. If I can focus on this. Uh, I can't focus. Uh, there we go. It has the little train symbol on it. Has all the little codes. It's Ray E10. Nothing too much. You know what? I have seven minutes to spare, so why don't I show off you guys the gameplay of this game on my DSi? So why not? For the hell of it, for my fans, we will do it. Turn up the volume so you guys can hear. I did turn down the volume to uh, literally play the game. There it is. Legends of Spirit Tracks. That's what it looks like on a DSi. Woot. Concentrate on that. And there we go. No Zelda and Link in a train. I do love trains, so this game is actually quite my cu cup of tea. And I hate tea. But I should have to say it because it's a figure of speech. And. It's so beautiful how Ze Zelda and Link are actually literally in the same place. I don't know, is Zelda is spirit all of a sudden? Weird. Is she. Is that Tetra dead? Oh my god, if that's Tetra dead, I will be angry. Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. This is not a let's play, this is just me reviewing the game. Touch the screen. Cool. Create a save pile. Okay. Creating save pile. File created. New game. It actually read my game. That's pretty cool. This is what you want your to name your character. Sure. Do you hold the stylus on your left? I'm actually ambidextrous, so I can use both left and right. But I mostly am tapping with my right hand, and I use this with my right hand, so it's mostly save complete. There we go. Three heart gauge as a game. You can copy. You can battle. Oh, I just select battle. Oh well, I, we haven't done anything. You can return. It's pretty interesting. Adventure. Adventure, I guess, means story mode. But that's the game. I'm almost up to 
So this is Cyberwarrior94 signing off to you guys in YouTube. Later.